I remember a few years ago, I, I, before the pandemic, before much of this, um, I got fascinated with the idea of flat earthers. Now this is an entirely new phenomenon. There wasn't really any moment back in recorded history. Not the ancient Greeks or the ancient Babylonians or the Incas or whoever else who actually wondered whether the earth was actually flat or not. And Christopher Columbus, they knew the earth was round. There was no danger he was going to fall off the edge of the world. That wasn't what people worried about when he was setting off to discover the Americas or discover a shortcut to India. Um, but recently, over the past few years, a whole bunch of people have decided that the world is flat. Now, everything we know about science, from the people we've sent to the moon, uh, to the photos we've taken from space, to how we explain day versus night and seasons, we know that the Earth is round. But there, there are a whole bunch of people out there who have decided that the Earth is flat. And they hang out with each other, and they find different ways of proving to themselves that the Earth is, Earth is flat. Now that may not seem like a very serious thing, because someone who believes the Earth is flat is not going to necessarily cause tremendous harm to everyone else. But the ability to start to believe something that simply isn't true, because enough people are telling you and reinforcing that around you, actually starts creating real problems and can bring, bring us as a society to very scary places. And that's why we're still very much trying to figure it out. How to make sure we're protecting people's freedom of speech and freedom of expression. We're making sure uh, that marginalized communities and people who are traditionally uh, uh, oppressed by majorities continue to be protected in all the ways they need to be in societies because you know, there are lots of tools for majorities to oppress minorities.